He had me totally fucked up. Yeah, he had me totally fucked up. Who the fuck are you that I will be clearing up on something that had your motherfucking name in it? Huh. Sorry, boo-boo kitty. You got the wrong one. Okay? I got my own shit to clear up in my own life. Okay? Yeah. I ain't got time to clear up a motherfucking thing about an assumption on here. And then what you fuck, what you turn around and do? Make an ass of yourself. You make an ass of yourself to turn around and call me a slur. When you could have just addressed it with the people and been done. But you want to step to me like you was checking something and got your motherfucking asshole toted out. That's what happened. You thought you was coming to me checking something and got your asshole toted out in my motherfucking palm. Yes. Snatched that motherfucker right up out you. Yeah, you straight niggas don't like to wash your asses. Let me have it. I'll take over it. Give me the asshole. Okay? Give me your asshole. Uh-huh, you don't need it. No, you don't need it. Uh-uh. Let me get that from you. Uh-huh. Let me get that from you. Yeah. So he walked out of lives. He walked out of lives live yesterday, last night, with no asshole. Because it was in my pocketbook. Yes. I don't see them fuck niggas. At all. So don't ever in your motherfucking life think you're going to address me to clear up a motherfucking thing about you. Don't know you. Don't know you at all. Whew. Yes. Well, no, I wanted to say a lot of shit yesterday. I just didn't say it yesterday. So I had to come to my lie to say it. So, you know, I try to respect everybody. What's up, Poozie? Um, I just, that, that, your name came up when I was at the breakfast live this morning and they said that you still continue to allow me to be a mod. So, um, respectfully, when you have time, anything that you would like to address me with, I would like to receive it. No, Pussy, we good. Um, I think you and Peach made some great progress and we just gonna leave it up Okay. Well, um, may I uh, just touch a little piece of Hoover's asshole that you now have in your pocket? Sure, here you go. Okay, not too long ago, I would, I, my screen recording is invalid, but Queen was laying on her bed looking at her phone, and she said one thing I will say about Hoover, ba da ta 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 and everybody know what the end of that statement is. Um, I know for a fact that Hoover has tried to have people mimic her image. And when when y'all when when I heard he, he she definitely got a bug in her ear, let me give y'all a bit of information. Mods can't block moderators. We can only report each other. So if Manny was to say as an example, block sweet, moderators block sweet, we can't block sweet. It's impossible. We only have the option to report her. So that was a stunt. Two, he, she literally said this morning, he telling me to do one thing, keep going, but then he telling me don't get on here and cry. And she literally let his ass right back in there within a few hours of her saying how done she was with him. All of them motherfuckers is a shit show. And let the records reflect that when I just heard her say Poozie hadn't even been blocked yet, you can go check my story because bitch, you won't follow back. Fuck Diamond. I'm out. Well, we appreciate that, Poozie. Let me let the next person up here. All right, y'all. We finna get into the news in just a second, y'all. I just had to go ahead and clear that up with Hoover because he thought he was addressing the dress. 
five um, loud. And he had me. Go ahead and shoot me. Shoot me. Hey, I don't get no man shit because you can handle your own. But you can see how these females feel about how Diamond think about herself as a black female, saying Hoover control her mind and in her ear. They really think Hoover stopping that woman's success with 3,000 people that be in there all the time. That's what they saying? I mean, that's their politics point. But that's, you can give, they, but you can give your vantage point. Now you draw that is by you giving your vantage point that supersedes that vantage point. So 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 this is my this is my vantage point. I love all my black people, bro. But why the hate so strong, bro? Like where's it going? Yo, hate just there. Where's it going, bro? How much do you hear Diamond speak about other people? How they versus they speak about her? And then on the other hand, say what a man doing her ear. And he's behind this, he's behind that. Where y'all going with that? Like, that's not stopping that woman, bro. So what is all that about? That's crazy. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, yeah. And now because you got a problem with you, because you got a real problem with Hoover, because you're a man, he's a man. Now all of a sudden, oh, he hated me. He did this and that. No, nigga. Diamond been blocking motherfuckers because of what they did to her straight up. And this shit, which I say in 4K, all these motherfuckers go around the panel who don't this who don't, who, li who don't like her, go around other people don't like and they campaigning, bro. Just keep this shit solid, bro. Solid yeah, fuck that shit is, man. She, hold on, with she. So when it comes to the Poozy, Poozy has stated this before. No, I ain't talking when about it, just Poozy, bro. Poozy got her own thing going on. Wait, hold on, hold on. When it comes to Queen Jewels, Queen Jewels has stated this before. And coddling, I don't coddle no motherfucker, but I just keep it real. I don't know about coddling. I don't coddle nigga over there. I'm not giving nigga hugs, and I'm sorry for that. I'm not sorry for none of that shit. It's just what it is. It's real is real. That coddling shit for weak people, bro. We get it, Rasheed. But it's I get it. I get it. I get it, though. I just sit back and watch. I just get it. Just like how motherfuckers be when they be with you. But see, one thing about you, man, you speak on your shit, though. A lot of people don't speak on their shit. And it ain't just Hoover shit. I've seen you check a lot of motherfuckers and put them in their place. I'm a truck driver, so I go to every pen. I watch everything and hear what everybody say. And motherfuckers be fake as fuck on here, bro. Yeah, I agree. But I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's a lot of um, a lot of, a lot of stuff happening right now. Y'all just got to pay attention. It's a lot going on right now. Y'all got to pay attention. Hey, Alexandra. Hi, Manny. Good morning. How are you? Yes, go. I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm well. Thanks for asking. Um, I only came in here to make a brief statement. Uh, choose the bear. Also, understand that um, there's a lot of internalized misogyny on this app, even with the women. But more, more importantly, choose the bear. You guys have a great rest of your day and enjoy work. Take care of yourselves. I'll be oh, back if uh, duty calls. Thank you. Um. Choose the bear, Lord. Um, it is what it is. Choose the bear. I, I mean, I ain't choosing the bear per se because I love the people. Um, yeah, the ooh, it's too much. But I get it though. I get it. Um, I get it. Some people feel like that's a better option. I get it. Hey, Kiki. Okay, let me keep going. Yeah, I ain't choosing the bear because I know the bear. I mean, both will mess you up. The bear and the humans will mess you up, but I get it, dog. Okay. Definitely, unless the bear is a fur coat. <laughs> No, not a Hollywood production. Okay, so let's get into it. Let me get over here, hold on. So we're gonna get into it light and then we're gonna speed it up. Hold on. What was this? Let's see. Okay. 
All right, let's start off with something light. As y'all do know, we are here. Ugh. Oh, child, I didn't even get into my other songs, honey, but anywho. Um, yes. Thank y'all for tuning in to Messy TikTok News, Breaking News. News you can use to sharpen your tools, okay? As y'all all know, the Democratic Convention is definitely going down where we had some special guests. We had Hillary Clinton, okay? Um, <laughs> we had Obama, um, and we had a whole lot of other people. But, $2. But I definitely want y'all to listen to some remarks from the convention. You say, not Obama yet? Child, Obama, honey, Obama was definitely dead in spirit, honey. If he wasn't dead in person, he was dead in spirit. Oh, Obama tonight. Okay. Ooh, okay. So he was he was just in the hotel. Got you. Okay. So, as y'all all know, when it comes down to this particular election, they have Republicans now wanting to switch over, not per se their party, but they are enjoying the Democrat. They are enjoying the Democrat selection compared to the Republican selection. And I don't find it weird um, that they are in a rock and a hard place because again, their option is Trump. So I don't find it weird that they are having a problem figuring out if they even want to stay a Republican. But I found interesting was some remarks. And this remarks came from Miss Crockett. Miss Crockett Glockett. I mean, damn, Miss Crockett Clockett. Okay. You on the news, sister. <laughs> Let's take a listen. Resume. Donald Trump has a rap sheet. Kamala Harris has a resume. Donald Trump has a rap sheet. One candidate worked at McDonald's while she was in college at an HBCU. The other was born with a silver spoon in his mouth and helped his daddy in the family business. Housing discrimination, that is. She became a career prosecutor well, he became a career criminal with 34 felonies, two impeachments, and one porn star to prove it. Her entire career as an elected district attorney, attorney general, and senator, she's always worked for one client, the people. Meanwhile, the people. The year old lifelong predator, fraudster, and cheat known for inciting violent mobs. He's only looked out for one person. Himself. She's lived the American dream while he's been America's nightmare. Looking at the two choices before you, who would you hire? Who would you Donald hire? Trump? Yeah. Or Kamala Harris? Yeah. Kamala Harris has a resume. Donald Trump has a That is the question starting off. Who would you hire? Let's get some crowd participation. Who would you hire? Donald Trump or a black female? Who would you hire? Donald Trump or a black female? <laughs> you would pick you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm back. Remember I said, remember I said many of duty calls, you know, and I'm in my, I want to be clear too. I have my professional voice and then I have my Bama voice when I'm off the clock. Right now it's going to be the professional voice that got me the job at the job that I'm at. All right. So 
I would choose Kamala because mm, it makes more sense. She, come on, what he said. She, uh, let me turn this corner. She has more accolades and she has a resume that is better than Trump. I'm a little confused as to why people's only arguments towards Kamala is that she slept away to the top and that she tried to lock up a bunch of people when a lot of these things have been disproven already. I want everybody to just do us a huge favor. Utilize the resources in the free library card to access the internet as well as other books that can give you a little bit more information and insight on these type of topics because there's no way in hell that you actually believe, right? With the two beautiful eyes that God gave you that you can read, that Trump would be a better um, candidate than Kamala. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, never. Also, too, somebody asked a question. They posed a question and said about a, two weeks ago, well, does she have the experience of black people and does she um, connect with the community? There is a video of her on a breakfast club where she stated that she does claim her blackness. And then in terms of her being able to connect with the community, she went to an HBCU, um, something that Trump did not do. He is, in fact, another byproduct of uh, nepotism. So I just want us to kind of dig into that a little bit. And if I'm wrong, stone me. Okay, so you said you want to dig into it. Are you gonna, are you gonna do the clawing? Um... I mean, if there's Trump fans in here, I mean, I know Bun Bun was in the comment section the other day talking about Trump 2024. So Bun Bun, if you hear my love, you should come up. Let's discuss and unpack. Yes, we will definitely, um, if someone would love to come up, um, we would definitely spend about 30 minutes on this. We definitely will. Um, it's up to you all. But if not, Alexandra, you do have the floor to inform us as much as um, you would like at this point. I just also, too, when I was in Arizona this weekend, one of the conversations that my uncle and I had was that there are folks that have no... Their rhetoric is centered around misogyny, right? More and, if, and for the women, more so internalized misogyny, which simply is, though, she's a woman, right? And she's black, which is her intersection. I don't know what her sexual identity is, but it, who gives a fuck? Um, so when you are asking people what are their reasoning behind, like, why don't you want to vote for Kamala Harris? It's real, it's mostly centered around, well, we don't think women have the ability to do X, Y, Z. There's no real reasoning behind her politics, her principles. Ex, it, it, like, it's simply predicated off the fact that they feel like, this this is a woman, right? And she's not black. And and again, they never for Obama, they didn't go this hard for making him prove to us that he was black. We all rallied around him, our grandmamas and them, some of y'all TTs and them still got purses in the closet, right? With Michelle and Obama. But because it is a black woman, because a lot of us were taught to hate ourselves as women, it might not think you may not think you were, but if you break down a lot of the rhetoric that y'all use, you were taught to hate yourself as a woman and pedal and pedal uh pedestal men. Um they feel like she's not equipped enough to be a president, but if you ask them to run down a bunch of the policies with Trump, it's a bunch of bullshit. So I, I'm sorry, I really can't take people serious that have this I don't know, they put out they put out this rhetoric they have the rhetoric of, oh well, Kamala's a woman and she's not black and she's not fit and she's not this and she's not that and then you ask them to run down, well what does Trump do for women and what does Trump do for black people and what does Trump do for marginalized groups of people, more specifically disabled people and, and elderly people and they can't tell you but they can tell you how much they hate women. Sorry, your opinion will never matter to me, especially because it's unpaid and it's dumb. Ms. Bonita, let me hear from you. Okay. Um, this topic is always hilarious to me. I'm of the older crowd. And when they say that Kamala slept her way to the top, I always giggle. Because if you're going to say she slept her way to the top, you cannot sleep your way through the bar exam. You can't sleep your way in politics to gain the votes to get the positions that she got in California. But let's take a look at who she, who we know she slept with. They talk about Willie Brown. If you know Willie Brown, you know. That's the difference in between her sleeping her way to the top with a Malcolm X versus a Herman Cain. 
two different people with two different mindsets. The other person sh- we know that she was with was Montel Williams. Everybody remember Montel Williams? Yeah, the so, ball headed one. That looked like Skywalker. We know. He used to have a um a TV show. If you know, you know. Montel Williams was then and still is now for us people. So if we gonna talk about who she slept her way to the top with, let's look at who she slept with. Um, and lastly, I say they talk about her claiming her black blackness. Number one, she from the Bay. I'm from the Bay. She from Oak Town. And number two, anybody that spent their time dancing on Soul Train. I ain't never seen Stacy Dash or what's the other or Candace um, Owens on Soul Train. And the fact that she went to a HBCU, she's at every woman's black event and black conference. So they need to chill on that. That's the end of my argument. Sorry, they cutting the lawn out there. I forgot this loud. Mm. Go ahead, Alexandra. Let me hear from you. I also think it's very telling too. Before I go back into work, um, is that that the comments, like the people's commentary around, like, oh well. Also, too, I think I messed up that word. I think it's pedestalized, but whatever. I'm overthinking it. Ooh, ADHD. Anyway, I think too, like the whole. Um, she slept away to the top thing. Like, I, I again, to piggyback on what they just stated, I think it's insane because we don't, why are we fixated on the fact or hyper fixated the way we are with this woman about the fact that a lot of these politicians are discussing and have done very, agree- they've, they've done very egregious things. Like, you, essaying a bunch of women, not only in your family, but like any woman that has proximity to you, like, why is that more, why is that not, the center of the conversation, but a woman, oh, well, she said with this person, she said with this person, and that's why she's there, but they're not bringing up all her credentials. Furthermore, I think it's really insulting, too, that they're going to the extreme of creating AI photos to try to convince the masses and create a narrative that she's some type of whore. Like, y'all are running out of stuff, and y'all wonder why they think Americans are so illiterate and dumb. I know that I can be very abrasive, but somebody got to tell the truth. That is true. All I wanted to add for now, I just can't take a lot of these people serious because they don't take themselves serious. But when they do, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to engage. Um, we embarrass ourselves every day collectively as Americans. Of, uh, I understand that there's some few far in between that are intelligent and equipped with the resources or the tools that y'all be sharpening. But as of right now, we're screwed. All right, Manny, I'll be in the comment section. All right, Alex. Um, Yeah, so this is why everybody needs to go out and participate. Participate in your local and your national. Okay? Y'all have to get out and participate. Y'all must get out and participate. Um, that's all we can really say. We have a couple of more, um, couple of more months until the national, but we have to get out and participate. We have to. It's important. Um, if you feel like you won't be in town or something like that, or if it's vacation time, please look into your absentee ballot. Please look into that. Please look into all your resources in order for your voice to be heard. Please. Okay? Thank y'all so, 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 so much. All right. So as y'all know, we're going to touch a little bit about the elephant in the room and with this issue as y'all know August Alcina no no August Alcina we all know he switched sides and when he decided to switch sides Various people try to give him their opinion. One particular person who tried to is Akbar V. Akbar V went in. 
Now, with that being said, she has said some things that I feel I've heard before on this app. Let's take a listen. Coming for the LGBTQ community here and act like everybody just coming for the LGBTQ community. And a lot of y'all probably do come for them. A lot of y'all do. But see, God ain't that type of God. You're supposed to love people through their sins. But still correct them when they wrong. But do it out of love. And God do things in decency and in order. Now, if I would have tried to tell him something about himself, I would have went in his DM to tell him, hey, come out that thing. Come do this. Do this often. Do this. I didn't do that. I spoke on the fact that you said, God. See, y'all looking at and misinterpreting the message. You said, God, open up your heart to love another man. That ain't God. That's why I spoke so oh, God. I didn't tell opposite going to hell or, 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 or I Who am I? I may shun He's married to the backsliders. Y'all I went out here and made all these different things, y'all. God. So when y'all speak on the universe and all that, that ain't God. I don't listen to no universe. It ain't God. That's when y'all out here playing with that witchcraft. That's when you talk about the universe. That's how they do that. That's what they play with it. The universe. The universe. No, it ain't no universe. In the beginning, it was God. Sit here and act like everybody just coming for the LGBTQ community. Ooh. Wow. I felt like I've heard that before. Now. As y'all know, I have to play leading into the one and only Icon Peach. Yes, Icon Peach definitely have resolved some of his issues with a couple of creators on this app. But before he resolved some of his issues, we did catch that footage. We did get that memo. We did receive that fax. We heard him loud in crystal clear. So, being that everyone is out here speaking, I felt it was only right that now we hear from Peach. Let's take a listen. Not going. Woo, we didn't want to see you anyway. Great. Okay? Great. I'm happy that I gave y'all what y'all wanted. So, <laughs> all the bloggers, y'all can repost it, tag everybody on the app you want. The icon will not be there. Okay? I'm sure now the narrative will be, well, he wasn't invited no way, or he was uninvited, or whatever bullshit they gonna try to spin him and make it seem like we didn't, you know, we was removing him. But I'm saying on my live, I'm not going. Send y'all cash apps, do whatever, moving forward. Because there is no way a person is gonna say all that homophobic shit to me. And then I get told on Monday morning it's my fault. And this cash has being read that is my fault. And I'm supposed to laugh and giggle in three weeks and act like, ooh, <laughs> I love being here. Yes. Get the fuck out of here. The fuck do y'all think this is? I don't think so. No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I, I know we love people and I know we support people. Certain shit I just ain't going for. Certain shit I'm just not fucking going for. I don't want no recognition like that. The, 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 the impact of messages I received this weekend, y'all, blew me away. I had, thank you, man, Max and Chris and everybody who's been sending gifts. I had no idea so many LGBT people follow me on this platform. So many people shared their stories with me, y'all. I was crying all weekend. 
People talking about how their family members have been unalived. People talking about their homophobic experiences. So how the fuck can I read all of them messages and respond to them people and then turn around and say, well, you know what? I went through it, but I'm finna smile and I'm finna tap dance again because I won an award. Fuck no. I don't want no fucking award. And the one I got can go in the trash. <laughs> the one I got can go in the trash. If I'm not accepted as I am, I don't want nothing. If I have, if I'm too gay for you, if I'm too loud for you, if I do too much for you as I authentically am, I don't want you to accept me. I don't want to be in that space. Because understand that it is a motherfucker in Atlanta, Georgia right now that loves the fuck out of me. It don't matter if I got a wig on. It don't matter if I got makeup on. It don't matter what the fuck I got on. That, that motherfucker love me. He ain't telling me Oh, you need to dress like this and act like this for me to accept you on my platform. You need to... That, that motherfucker done took me out to eat. That motherfucker done showered me with love and support. That's genuine love. You're not going to tell me to water down myself so that you can feel comfortable. And see, I really could say some more shit, but I ain't going to go there. Because it's really some more shit on the tip of my tongue that I really want to say, but I'm not going to do too much. <laughs> Please don't, I ain't going to run motherfuckers all the way down. Please don't, Peachy. Because I really could say a lot more. Hold on to it, Peachy. Hold on to it, Peachy. This shit been going on way outside of this pussy shit. Let's be clear. Hmm. It's been a lot of homophobia way outside of this pussy bullshit. Okay? So, this is just a straw that broke the camel's back. But we ain't gonna act like this is the first time this shit, I've experienced this shit on this platform. Mm. And then y'all wonder why I be talking like I be talking to these motherfuckers. Well, Peach, he says a lot of things. Peach cusses and you damn right. You damn right. And another thing I want to say, another motherfucking thing I want to say, I ain't got no motherfucking friends on this app. Okay? So these people that y'all be swearing is my motherfucking friends, fuck them. They not my motherfucking friends. Okay? Because some of y'all be dropping people names talking about ain't so-and-so your friend. That ain't my motherfucking friend. That ain't my motherfucking friend. Because my friends don't get on motherfucking panels and, and lie on me and say bullshit to save themselves. That ain't my motherfucking friends. Clock that T. We clock that. And I don't give a fuck what day I say it on. I said it today, August 19th. Give a fuck what day it is. It's August, what the day is? What the day is? I'm day giving is. too much access to people that did not deserve it. I'm taking it back. Uh. I'm taking it back. Uh. I've been too good of a reclaiming my time is what I'm hearing. Reclaiming my time is what I'm hearing. Reclaiming my time is what I'm hearing. Reclaiming my time. That's what I'm hearing. Some motherfuckers that did not deserve me. I'm taking it back. I ain't going no motherfucking where. I'm gonna keep going live. Ooh. I'm gonna keep making y'all laugh, and we gonna keep having fun. Oh, Peach, please apologize. Apologize to who? I'm not going. Woo, we didn't want to see you anyway. <laughs> not. They end the clip with Peach apologize and he like apologize to who? But I do stand with Peach. 
I definitely feel as if he should not go anywhere. I feel as if he should continue to go live and continue to be the great person that he is. Um, shout out to all parties involved in that particular situation. Y'all all are great and separate entities. You know, y'all all are great. So shout out to all of you beautiful people. But with this one, I stand with Peach. Don't stop what you're doing, Peach. We definitely see you. Okay. Ooh. So it has been a sticky week. Um, I just tried to give a little bit. Peach felt as if his voice was not heard. Um, hopefully I was able to play his voice to where he feels that it was heard. Like I stated earlier to Poozie, I'm so glad that they was able to find some resolve um, and that we can move forward. But yeah, that was a lot. Yes, reclaiming. That's all I heard was him reclaiming his time. Yeah. So. Whoo. All right. Let's get into a new message. So, apparently, this lady named Talitha, Talitha Jane, that is, um, they're saying, Talitha, keep being you, sister. Keep being great, Talitha. We love it, Talitha. Um, yeah. So, in finding this story, I heard that our other queen, none other than Petty Row, Petty Row has some words I'm thinking encouraging towards Talitha. Being that she is a part of the news room, she is eyes in the streets. I want to take a listen to what she had to tell Talitha. Let's take a listen. Hold on, let's listen. Emotional and she was crying and she was saying how she really don't get on this app. Hey y'all, so I just watched a video by so Talitha could, Jane and she was look really up, Talitha and Jane. She was crying and she was saying how she really don't get on this app that much anymore because every time Talitha she Jane. You know, gets on the app, there's always some Talitha Jane hate going on. And she said she's getting a lot of messages and there's a lot of content out there saying, you know, that her content is centered around a man, how to get a man or whatever. And she was like, it's crazy that she can't even document her journey about healing and finding herself and loving herself the way that she wants somebody else to love her. Wanting the kind of love that her dad, that she sees her dad show her mom on a daily basis, learning how to give that to herself. And it just broke my heart because, uh, like, it seems like nowadays when you actually see what you have going on with yourself, you decide that you want something different and then you actually do something about it. People don't like that. That's what's wrong with a lot of people. You're in denial. Okay. It's everybody else's fault. Everybody else's responsibility on the type of life or kind of life that you live. Talitha is taking responsibility for her life. The things that she wants out of life, she's figuring out how to do it for herself. She's working on her journey with getting closer to God and she is documenting it not only for herself but for other people. Because truth be told, there are other people that are in the same situations that she's in or dealing with the same things. And it's sad and it's crazy that you that people would attack her for that. Mm. Talitha, don't take it personal. Please don't take it personal. Do not let this make you feel like 
your journey is not worth documenting because even if it's just for yourself, for you to look back five years, 10 years from now to say, hey, I was in this place in 2023 and look at where I am now. I am where I dreamed I would be, what what I, I have, what I prayed for. Please continue to document your journey. Forget these people. Most of the people that do all this criticizing, they're upset because they don't have the courage to do what you do, to be vulnerable, to put yourself out there for other people to look at and critique and criticize. They don't have the strength. They don't have the courage. They probably don't even have the know-how to be able to do that. So keep your head up. If you need to cry, then go ahead and cry because sometimes that, that does a body good. It does a mind good. Yes. But keep on. Keep on keeping. Stay on your journey. Stay. Stay on your path. I'm praying for the best for you and just know that even though there's people out here that have negative things to say to you, there are some of us out here that love you. We care about you. We want the best for you and we want to see you be the woman that you want to be. All right, y'all. Um, so Talitha is a woman navigating life. Her name is Talitha Jane. If y'all want to follow her through her life's journey, you can. You can look her up on TikTok, Talitha Jane. Um, yes, y'all follow her and get engulfed into her journey. You know, there are more things out here. I'm just giving y'all a little push. If y'all want to check Talitha Jane out um, and spend some energy over there getting into the, her story, I would totally, um, I would totally suggest that. Um, I would totally say, see what Talitha Jane has going on. Jane, J-A-N-E. I would definitely say, see what she has going on. Check her out. Um, some of you may be able to help her. Um, who knows? Some of you may be able to give her that advice that she needs at this time. Um, some of you. Yes, <laughs> some of you. I'm not saying all, some, okay? So, whew. We got so much news, not enough time. So next we have Papa Rudy. Papa Rudy was in these streets cutting up. And when I say he was cutting up, he had a message for all his peoples. He had a message. Hey, sweet. Um, so, Manny, you gotta like holler their name when they sub. Like, oh my God, little Miss Homie Hopper, you just subscribed. Oh, 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 yeah, you gotta do that. Okay, bye. Okay, yes, I didn't even pay that no more. I didn't. All right, Patrice. All right, Patrice. Okay. Yes, on the subs as well. Gotta stay focused, y'all. All right, Patrice! <laughs> oh, my God. All right, Patrice. Shout out to you, Patrice. And shout out to everybody else who has grabbed a subscription. Shout out to everybody who is sending a gift. I am going to do much, much, much better. All these little notifications popping up and everything. All right. So yeah, Papa Rudy has had a message, or at this point, it could be has a message for his black people. I definitely wanted to hear. We have news from Papa Rudy. Let's take a listen. Now I'm all right, strap on your seatbelts. I'm about to take you for a ride. Strap on. It's like 95% of my videos is for black people. Now, I'm all for... All right, Queen Jules, put out them subscriptions. Yeah. But... All right, Maya, you got your subscription. To represent black men. All right, Chanel, you got your subscription. All right, to 1111, you got your subscription. All right, to Simone Tierra. 
Welcome. All right to Quay. Welcome. Shout out to Queen Jules for sending out those five subscriptions. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I, yes, okay. All right, Ashley. Welcome. I appreciate it, Ashley. Thank you so much. All right, we need to send out the subscriptions. Uh, oh, oh, she subscribed. Okay. Miss Bonita, she subscribed. Shout out to Miss Bonita. Welcome to the team. Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you so much. O M to the G. Yes. Papa Rudy. Let's represent black men. All right, Trigger. Come behavior. through. Those people are terrible, terrible examples. A lot of y'all are using traumatized. All right, Miss Bonita. Send out subscriptions. All right, TJ, you got your subscription. Shout out to Purple Bees. Bees in the trap. B Bees in the trap. With Jen Williams. Yes, and also Green. Money Green. Yes. With Chris1104. Shout out to all of you just getting those subscriptions. Shout out to Miss Bonita sending out five subscriptions. Woo! Yes, thank y'all so much. I appreciate it. Welcome to the team. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we getting better. We getting better, y'all. We getting better. We getting better and better. As the song say, better and better. Okay. What's up, Jess here? People to get your points across when you're trying to talk. All right, Lady Essence, how you doing? Hey, baby, how you doing? I can't hear you. Okay, quick my break. You have reached your subscription goal for the day, Manny. So set reset your um subscription goal, but put it for 20 this time. Um everybody please tap the screen. We're gonna keep the comments on for right now since y'all got it up to 96k likes. But please get Manny up to 150k likes within the next 30 minutes. Tap, tap, tap. He is three comedy club gifts away from his goal y'all please help him reach his goal keep tapping the screen y'all like the mess this is the messy news to shopping your tools so that you can use on your own platform so y'all keep tapping keep tapping keep tapping good job manny thank you for check her out um, her lives are a little calmer, uh, well, much calmer, shall I say. Her lives are much calmer. Um, relaxation is like being on a spa. I would definitely say check out Lady Essence. Um, if you want to be real relaxed, calm, have casual conversation, um, laugh, giggle, talk about all various topics. Um, if I heard her correctly, they talk about everything, whether it's foods, working out, um, hair trends, nail trends. Um, yes, yeah, so check Lady Essence out. Hey, 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 one more thing, just trying to look out for you. They're saying in the comments that you can use clapping effects. <laughs> okay, in the effects, um, okay. There's yeah. another subscriber, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We gotta, Manny, you need an emoji. Like, what emoji are you gonna use when you be like, drop that in the comments for the messy news? Like, what emoji we gonna use? Oh, oh the, the TV. The TV. The TV, <laughs> the TV or the which TV? Which one? Put it oh, in the oh, on your phone, it's a flat screen. Y'all yeah, yeah. yeah. TV. Hold on, y'all. There you go. Okay. You're up next on The Price is Right. <laughs> so we're going to do the TV. Hold on, y'all. Let me find the TV. Where the fuck is the TV? <laughs> there you go. So that's what we using, y'all. That's Manny's. Y'all drop them TVs in the comments. So he going to, man, you need to do that a couple of times to get the people, you know, get them going with the mess. Bye now. Hey, don't, uh, please don't recap my shit from yesterday. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs>
Oh no, no. Once I saw the child was deep, deep, I was like, we're gonna let that one go. Cause um I knew better of y'all, so I'ma keep that memory of y'all, yes. Uh, <laughs> Cause baby, yeah. That's not your MO, so I'm not even gonna add it to you, sister. I'm not even gonna add it to you. No, no, no. You say you don't get into it like that, and I, I believe you, sister. I believe you. Yes. So yes, Papa Rudy. Let's 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 take a listen back to him. All black men. It is necessary to say, I right, strap on your seatbelts. I'm about to take you for a ride. We strap. Just like ninety five percent of my videos is for black people. Now I'm all for. All right, Nisha. You know, but the examples that y'all use to represent. Black women, you know, their behavior. Those people are terrible, terrible examples. All right, Lady Essence. Y'all are using funny people. You're trying to talk about all black women, or you're trying to talk about all black men. It is necessary to say some when you're referring to our people. Just like the bear in the forest situation, we didn't want women saying all men. We wanted them to specify the fact that you're talking about some men, right? Same thing for women. We should say some when we're talking about uh, black women who behave in ways that's detrimental to our people. Mm. All of that, if it don't apply, let it fly. It, it, that's not fair because you're saying black women in your title or you're saying black men in your title, which talks about the entire group. If you're only talking about some, you should say that. It's only four more, four more letters added to, you, added to you, your title. Now, the people who we are listening to, are they in relationships with black people? All right. <laughs> All right, shout out to Kida coming through. Need to know that before we listen to these people, because I can make you feel like all black women are terrible if I post the right things and show you the right people, the right examples of black women who 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 don't present themselves right, black women who don't who don't think right. If I just show you those women, yeah, you'd be like, oh yeah, all black women, right? Same thing go for black men. They always choosing men who who are hurt and they traumatized and they've given up on black women and they will try to say, you know, this is how black men think as a whole. No, no, no. You have to add that some to it. S O M E. Add that to it. It makes a lot. It makes a lot of difference. It makes a big difference. Now, me, I'm in a relationship with a black woman, right? This is this is the shirt that she bought me. Whenever I get on this app and say about black women, I have a black woman to answer to when I get off of it. So when I get up here and talk to y'all, I have to come correct. I got to come with grace because I have a black woman that I'm trying to love better. Thank you so much for the You can be single and have great points on the opposite sex. Yes, this is the shirt right here. So he said his wife bought this shirt. I like it. I mean, she bought it. I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with it. She made sure he had on clothes. A lot of these women don't make sure they men have on clothes. And that's why everybody else be trying to dress them up. Y'all got to make sure y'all men's are dressed how y'all want them. So ain't nobody else trying to dress them up, honey, like they can or something. Y'all cannot be letting other people dress up y'all men like they can. No. I like that shirt for him. She bought it for him. I like that. He need to have it on. Yes. It's a remind. It's called a reminder. It's called a reminder. You got to remind some people sometimes. You got to remind them. Right? You can be single and still want to see black people come together. All right, right, naturally. Right? A lot of y'all are just trying to stick it to the opposite gender, right? And that attracts all of the other traumatized people who want to stick it to the opposite gender too, right? I see black couples, beautiful black couples going all up and down my timeline. That's what I engage in. That's what I support, you know? So my timeline continues to show me that. When I look in the comments, I see a bunch of black people supporting them. Black women, black men, cheering them on. They cheered us on. When they, when we came out with our relationship, we would cheer it on. I didn't see any disrespect. I didn't see no, nobody disrespected my woman, nobody disrespected me. But let's say somebody came into the comments and they did disrespect us, right? If I blew that comment up and said, hey, look, black women don't, don't really want to see black relationships or black men really don't want to see black relationships. 
That would come. All right, to Jane Marie. Hey, Shout out to Jane Marie for sending out 10 subscriptions to Miss Tia. To Briggs. Who else? To Christina. Oh, Christina. To Miss J. To Pretty Girl Char. To Mr. Look So Good. To Pure Hustle. To Toy Toy. To She Plans Life. Check your subscription. To user number nine, six one five. To first time. Oh, so so subscribe for the first time. Shout out to so so. Yes, shout out to Jay for sending out those 10 subscriptions. <laughs> Welcome to the 10. Traumatized and they've given up on black women. You can be single and have great points on the opposite sex, right? You can be single and still want to see black people come together unified, right? But a lot of y'all are just trying to stick it to the opposite gender, right? And that attracts all of the other traumatized people who want to stick it to the opposite gender too, right? I see black couples, beautiful black couples, going all up and down my timeline. That's what I engage in. That's what I support, you know? So my timeline continues to show me that. When I look in the comments, I see a bunch of black people supporting them. Black women, black men, cheering them on. They cheered us on. When they, when we came out with our relationship, we would cheer it on. I didn't see any disrespect. I didn't see no, nobody disrespected my woman, nobody disrespected me. But let's say somebody came into the comments and they did disrespect us, right? If I blew that comment up and said, hey, look, black women don't, don't really want to see black relationships or black men really don't want to see black relationships. That would completely discredit the hundreds of people who did support me in the comments. So if I see a black woman making a post where there's a black man talking crazy about black women, hey. or if I see a post that a black man is posting a black woman All talking right. crazy about black men. All right, pure shot to you, sister. I ask myself, what is that person's agenda? Then I ask myself, does this person give the same amount of attention to the positive black content that they see? When that black man sees a black woman saying how much she loves black men, does he stitch it, do it, post it, repost it, add it to their story? Do it? Does he do all that? And vice versa. And if I go and I don't see any of that, now I know that person's agenda. Whether it's for follows or views or whether it's the, the trauma dump, I, I have to see them for what they are. But my question is, where's the love? You know, where is it? Where is your passion for black women, black man? Where is your passion for black men, black woman? Black woman who, who claims she wants black men to act right. Black men who claim they want black women to act Claim. Right. Where is your love? Where's your post where you stop claiming? Talking about loved ones who, who do behave the right way. That's all I be looking for. I be looking for I be looking for the balance in your content. All right, right. Your content Shut is up all you. It's only one side. <laughs> With what we want our world to be. When you only focus on the negative and you don't specify that you're only talking about a small group of us. Right is making it right up and through here. With what we want our world to be. You lose a lot of black women when you only focus on the negative ones. <laughs> you lose a lot of black men when you only focus on the negative ones and you don't specify that you're only talking about a small group of us. And in doing that, you and our oppressors have the same goal. How that make you feel? How does that make you I feel? He say, from what y'all claiming, girl, the synthetic dread done got in my mouth. Ah. He said, from what y'all claiming, um, basically, we are no better than the oppressor. 
Um, we as black people need to not strip away the accolades by grouping us all together, whether we use the verbiage black woman or black man. He's stating that when we generalize it as such as black man and black woman, it erases what we have strived so hard for when we degrade one person or two people by grouping them all together, we are no better than the oppressor. I have to I have to say I believe I believe that. I, I believe that. I've seen that happen many times. Um and what he has suggested is that we be mindful and use the word some. So he's suggesting that we incorporate and start including the word some more than just black men, women. Yes, some. That's what he's saying. Because when we use the general statement black man, black woman, it does give off the look as a whole. And then we start degrading one black man or one black woman, keeping it general, knowing that we're talking about one and we don't specify, that is how we are no better than the oppressor because we should be mindful to identify that that one black person, whether it was man or woman, is whom you're speaking about. Or some, or some is whom you're speaking about. We do have to change our verbiage on this app. Um, as we have just saw from these previous weeks, we have to switch it up. We have to. It's imperative that we switch our vocabulary and we do it immediately. Immediately. Little food for thought. That's it. You know, I ain't gonna harp too much on that one. Just a little food for thought. That's it. Okay. So, as y'all all, well, y'all probably don't know, but Jackie Ina. Have y'all heard that name before? Jackie Ina. Well, she found herself in a pickle. I'm like, what? How did this successful influencer find herself in such a pickle? What could she have possibly done besides change her last name because she indeed is married and has a husband? I mean, the entitlement of it all. Oh, thank you for so much for the sub donation. Yes, you are definitely a sub in my heart. I get it. I have received it. You are definitely a sub. Um, yes. So, again, we do have a correspondent out on the scene who has covered this story and who, who we will be following up with about the Jackie Inas and various. Shout out to our reporter on the scene, Nosy Bystander. So Nosy, what do you have for us? Kiana is trending on social media. And no, it's not because she named another candle after a Nigerian protest slogan. It's because she had quietly changed her last name on her social media profiles. You guys didn't know, Jackie Ina is a makeup influencer across social media, and quietly she had changed her last name on social media, and that's when individuals had started to notice. Individuals had been taken to social media after they had been sarcastically congratulating her on her new nuptials. And that's when individuals had started noticing they had been blocked by Jackie Ina, even some preemptively. Now, when this story had made its way across social media, somebody 
by the name of Dark Skin said Jackie Aina Blackgate on TikTok is hilarious. This was my favorite sequence. She was blocked in less than 24 hours. She ain't even said nothing bad. Jackie is too strict. Somebody else stated, my simple take on the Jackie Aina ish is if someone blocked you on social media, just block them back, which is so true. No need to be bitter or mad about it. If I realize that somebody has blocked me, I just block them in return right away. No need for... Thank you, Nosey. So what else happened? Might I ask you that? I know that you're out on the scene and you're enjoying everything with the gangsta lean. We love it. We love it. We love it. Um, we're hoping that you are enjoying, you know, your sponsored trip. Can we hear more from you, Nosey? Go ahead necessary drama or getting upset about it, which is also true. Somebody else who was supporting Jackie Ina on her blockade uh, said, can't believe people are riled up because Jackie Ina changed her last name. She doesn't owe you anything. Anyway, that's what happens when you put people on pedestals. But other proponents of the argument said this, when I wasn't ready to announce my engagement and marriage or even my pregnancy, I just simply didn't post anything indicating I was engaged, getting married or pregnant. I don't understand posting clues and then getting upset when folks clock. Now, JR continues her thread and says this, if you want to be private, that's totally valid. But when folks post clues, especially as celebrities slash influencers, and then start hollering about people being nosy, it's like, are you okay? It's like when folks walk around with a hospital bracelet and then tell folks it's not their business if they ask. Right, right. Yeah, that is your business. But also, you could just not wear the bracelet indicating something was wrong. Or when folks talk forever about how sad they are and then get upset when folks ask them what's wrong. Like, why are you upset? People are checking on you when you made a point to emphasize right, that you're right. not okay. I don't know. <laughs> that solidifies the proponent's argument on Jackie Ina quietly changing her last name is this. Now somebody by the name of Kaylee said this, perfectly said, it's performative privacy. Now in all my days on social media, I've never heard this term coined or phrase. So Kylie, you might be on to something. It's performative privacy. You can't go public with something and then expect people not to inquire further. My motto is, if you don't want people in your business, Thank you so keep much. it quiet. Now, Thank you so much. Shout out for helping me reach my gift goal. Oh my God, I appreciate it so much. Wow, you knocked that down by yourself. I appreciate that and those who help contribute, but yeah, you really did that by yourself. I appreciate it so, so much. They've said so much about me, but you know, I just, I just look to the people. Like I've always told them, I look to the people. The people will give me my validation. Um, I never look for it from a hater. A hater could never think that I'm looking to them for any type of validation. It's only from the people that I know um, are true. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, so much. Back Quietly on social media and blocking your fans and supporters from asking you questions could be a form of performative privacy. But again, I'll take performative privacy over hijacking the Nigerian protest slogan for your candle cup. Oh, shout out to Nosy for being our correspondent on the scene. We appreciate it so much, Nosy. Thank you so much. Now, Jackie Aina. We appreciate it, Nosy. Thank you so much for being the correspondent on the scene. So, yeah, Jackie Aina, it is just sad when you can't even change your last name and the people are so invested. We have to ask ourselves, are we really disinvested in people's lives to where they get married and change their last names and we still have something to say, whether they let us know or didn't let us know, but the fact that they just changed their screen last name, now we feel entitled to speak upon it? These tools could even be used right now this week if we would have just chose not to speak on various things that did not matter to us. Just like with Jackie, what does her last name have to do with any of those people who felt a need to try to address her about her last name and then felt offended that she was blocking people for whatever reasons that she saw fit. We have to learn to do better. We have to learn to do better. 
There should not be a day to where someone changes their last name and we feel entitled, we feel entitled to press down on them about said last name. That's just too invested. Jackie Ina, Jackie Ina blocked um, her viewers, some of them. She blocked some of her viewers for basically tiptoeing in her business. Now granted, a lot of things are shared with the viewers. A lot of things, depending on how the influencer runs his or her life, a lot of things are shared. But at some point, when does that host get the respect of that is indeed their life? That is so disrespectful to come at her about her last name as if she was supposed to announce it to the people first for some type of validation. It is so cringy. That is so, 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 so cringy. Now, whew, as y'all know, um, the men have been getting into it. It has been a whirlwind. The men have been banging skulls all weekend. All weekend, the men have been banging skulls. And I have to take y'all back because these men all ended up in court. Like it was federal charges handed out to all of them. You get a charge, you get a charge, you get a charge, you get a charge. And I see you in Judge Trench Settles Court. Everybody got federal charges. And we will see you in Judge Trent Settles Court. Now, we did have a correspondent in the courtroom because, you know, sometimes they do not like you to record in the courtroom. But, you know, we don't give a fuck. We going in there. We going to see what has happened. And with that being said, we're not even supposed to have this footage. We're not. This was supposed to have been a closed court, but we ended up with it. Okay? We ended up with it. Now, if y'all want to check all this out, y'all can go to uh, the TikTok Testimonies page. The TikTok Testimony has the whole ordeal in federal Judge Trent Judge Trendsetter's court. Has the whole ordeal. But I want to play some parts that stuck out to me. Let's take a listen. Hey, you had to leave your motherfucking house and follow that woman before you realize the value that that woman held in your motherfucking life. Unlike you, I got balance in my life. I don't sit around and play the game out there with little kids and shit. They entertain little kids and disrespect my wife online like you do. You see what I'm saying? I was been in your life plenty of time. You calling your wife out. Y'all chat. Listen how she talking. You chat. You put in the chat. That's why. That's what's wrong with you. You don't know how to be a husband. You fuck. Now in Judge Trinsetta's federal court, we have Rick the Ruler. BB Gaming, Atlas, B Duffy, The Real Country, Kev D Comic, J Two, Two, Ta, and Antonio Jones. And these are the messy men of TikTok. If they don't like the name, oh well, sue me. They were in federal court, Judge Trent set us court. Let's take a listen. If your family ain't never for my family. So who the, so when we talk about relationship, make sure you got them speak facts on my shit, nigga. I've been with my wife 13 years married, 25 years together. September gonna make 14, and I'm still here. I ain't left the house by one time. I ain't never left my kids that had to come back. Thank you so much for the sub. <laughs> Thank you, Moni. Thank you, Moni. Let's take a listen. Let's get back. 
Because like you got to the apartment and you realize you couldn't make it on your own, so you had to come back to the breadwinner, which is your wife. You ain't the breadwinner, nigga. It's obvious that you ain't making the money that you say you making on TikTok. Because right, if you Kirsten. did, your wife would have banged you up and supported you on that bullshit. They want to go against the go against the grain when a nigga can't leave and your bitch ass can't leave, so you went to the other direction. Y'all see you back at home, ain't you? You back at home, ain't you? Yeah, because you need that woman to survive. I can stay. I can leave today, nigga, and go get me somewhere to stay, and I'll be comfortable. Not you, though. Ooh, you depend on the so kids. Messy. That's what you put in that game out there, old tired of saying, nigga. Grow up and be a father to your kids, nigga, and a husband to your wife, and you you eliminate some of the problems that you're going through. That's just a game for you, you little bit of boy. Little nigga. All right, can I speak now? Yeah. Yeah. So that is Rick the Ruler speaking to BB Gaming. I must add, these men are so messy. They have me beat. They got my mess beat, honey. And yeah, I said it. They are messy. Can uh, I speak now? Yeah. Can I speak now? You had to leave your motherfucking house and farmer that woman before you realize the value that that woman held in your motherfucking life. Unlike you, I got balance in my life. I don't sit around and play the game all day with little kids and shit. They entertain little kids and disrespect my wife online like you do. You see what I'm saying? I've been in your life plenty of time. You calling your wife out. Y'all chat, listen how she talking. You chat. You put in the chat. That's why, that's what's wrong with you. You don't know how to be a hood. You fumble, nigga. Your family ain't never fumble. My family. So who do you, so when you talk about relationship, Should make sure you got those speech facts on my shit, nigga. I've been with my wife 13 years married, 25 years together. September gonna make 14. And I'm still here. I ain't left the house not one time. I ain't never left my kids that had to come back because I, you got to that apartment and you realize you couldn't make it on your own, so you had to come back to the breadwinner, which is your wife. You ain't the breadwinner, nigga. It's obvious that you ain't making the money that you say you making on TikTok. Because if you did, your wife would have bagged you up and supported you on that bullshit. They only go against your, go against the grain when a nigga can't leave and your bitch ass can't leave, so you went to the other direction. Y'all see you back at home, ain't you? You back at home, ain't you? Yeah, because you need that woman to survive. I can stay. I can leave today, nigga, and go get me somewhere to stay, and I'll be comfortable. Not you, though. You depend on them little kids that's what you play in that game out there, old child and sad, nigga. Grow up and be a father to your kids, nigga, and a husband to your wife, and you you eliminate some of the problems that you're going through. That's just a game for you, you little bit of boy. Little nigga. All right, can I speak now? Yeah. Me so that's on TikTok testimony. And as y'all heard, Kev was excited in the background. Kev's like, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm like, yeah. So let's get to the next part. Y'all got one minute. You got one minute to say whatever it is you got to say without anybody interjecting. One minute. So we're going to start it off with you, BB Gaming. One minute. Now, you know, Duffy found himself in a pickle. I'm assuming it's because he wanted to be able to one to regulate things to let the people know, to let the boys know that he was checking something. So we do got the clip of when Duffy decides that he want to get manhandled. Okay. Four. Could you please you pay got, attention you, to number four? You got one minute. Outside lifestyle to be mentioned. Thank, thank you, me. thank you, thank you, B Duffy. So, so please yeah. keep his door yes, out. Right up. So just confirm it. Uh, if anybody knows the history of me and Kev the comic, uh, Kev the comic again. I never said anything bad about his daughter. He has spoken. And so this is a two on two match. This is a two on two match. You have Atlas and BB Gaming. Versus Rick and Kev. My wife, he has spoken to my family. I know I that. Numerous of times. I right. know that, Tara. And that's how he found himself in a pickle. <laughs> he has spoken about my wife numerous of times in battles, correct? But I let him be a man. See, I ain't say nothing about his daughter in a derogatory way. He spoke about my wife in a derogatory way during about Battles, if you know our history. But like I said, at the end of the day, we just spoke in reference to her 
business. We're not saying nothing bad about it, but we'll leave your daughter out of this because at the end of the day, you still can't run away from your issues, brother, because at the end of the day, you got to sleep in your own reality. We can eliminate your daughter, which is okay. Dang. But at the end of the day, you still got to live with the things that you wish you could have made up for. But you can't hate me because I'm living my life and I'm being a father and I'm being a man and I'm not on TikTok doxing people and I'm not on here running a scheme to be successful. I'm able to get on here and make per money for my purpose and who I am. See, some people hate you because of the way other people love you. So we can keep this quickly That's about BB you kids are And at the end of the day, brother, you still got to sleep in your own fucking reality. Okay, and I'm done. Kev. All right, Kev is on you. You went over a little minute, so so can you. <laughs> um, your majesty, your, your, your highness. The, uh, I, well, am I the defense or am I the prosecution? Tonight you are the defendant and he is the plaintiff. The, you can tell that they all been to prison. Let me stop. That was just a joke. But you can tell they all been to prison. <laughs> it was nice first from before. He's bringing you guys back to court. 